Now, how did you, or why did you come up with the idea of using PD-1 in a phase three study? There are studies that have gone before in lung cancer, haven't there? Yeah, uh, there are a number of uh, early clinical studies with different anti-PD-1 or PD-L1 agents. Results on the different subtypes of non-small cell lung cancer, squamous and non-squamous, were pretty promising. And this is the reason, actually, a number of investigators initiated phase three studies with nivolumab, but also with some other anti-PD-1s right. in what, this context. What did you do in the study, in fact? So in this study, we actually decided to compare nivolumab as compared to the standard of care, docetaxel, in patients with non-squamous histology, lung cancer, that had progressed to what is the standard of care in the first line, platinum-based chemotherapy. So those patients were randomized and uh, we just followed them up and see how good were each treatment as compared to the other. In, in terms of efficacy, but also in safety. Right, what in fact did you find? We did find that the trial met its primary endpoint. There was an improvement in survival for patients treated with nivolumab. Hazard ratio being 0.73, that means a decrease in the risk of death of about 27%, which translates in an improvement in median over a survival of nearly three months. Right, now this was for a, a considerable group of patients, more than 500 patients, so it was a big study. What do you conclude from that in terms of the application of this potential new therapy? Well, I think this trial showed that it's clearly an effective therapy, possibly more effective and less toxic than the standard of care docetaxel in the particular setting, on second line, setting of second line not muscle lung cancer, and I would say that uh, if agencies are approving that, that I think it will, it's very likely that this will become, if not they, at least one standard of care. Why do you think PD-1 targeting works so well rather than a cytotoxic? Well, the truth is that, uh, you know, lung cancers, I mean, the first thing is that we we are now understanding a lot better why the immune system is sometimes not good enough to attack tumors. And the reason is because we are understanding how the tumor and the host immune system talking one to each other and they have ways that they interfere in, they inhibit the action of the other. And what is actually doing this drug is actually inhibiting the escape mechanism of the tumor not to be attacked by the immune system. Could you in fact use uh, a, another cytotoxic chemotherapy agent plus the PD-1 targeting well, together? Well, yeah, the truth is that we are actually evaluating that in many trials. At the present time, this could be an efficacious way. On the other hand, there is some risk that they are actually antagonistic because the cytotactic therapy may attack as well the immune system cells. So, to be honest, we are not sure at the present time. There are some preliminary data that do not look bad, but some more studies, particularly phase three studies, are actually needed. And they are already ongoing. But there are very different toxicities, aren't there? No doubt. Toxicities are totally different. As a general rule, I would say, particularly for PD-1 agents, docetaxel chemotherapy is a lot more toxic in terms of incidence of adverse events and severity of adverse events. I mean, nivolumab is a pretty well tolerated drug. So what's your potential advice to cancer doctors moving forwards on this for non-small cell lung cancer and particularly non-squamous cell? Well, I think immunotherapy cell. is getting to lung cancer and is getting to stay. And I think uh, lung cancer doctors, we should learn more about immunotherapy, about immunovigilance, because I think we will have to use those drugs, we have to use 
to be, to be uh, I mean, we have to know about the potential toxicities and how to manage them. We have to learn about how to better combine immunotherapy with other treatments because I think this will be part of our future armamentarium. And the brief take home message about this and in the context of using immunotherapy is what? Immunotherapy is coming to lung cancer and it's coming to stay and indeed nivolumab had improved survival in a setting of non-small cell lung cancer where treatment oxygen were quite limited and the associated safety profile is quite favorable.